An effort to help boost the Chinook salmon population is paying off. A record 7,000 salmon are expected to return to Whatcom Creek in Bellingham this fall. And it's thanks to a hatchery program run by Lummi Nation and Bellingham Technical College. Students there are getting hands-on experience helping the threatened species. I'm joined by Brittany Palm Flawed, hatchery manager at Bellingham Technical College. Thank you so much for checking in with us. Yes, thank you for the invitation to be here. So Chinook salmon recovery, of course, big environmental issue in our region, and this hatchery program is proving successful, I hear. So can you tell us how it works and how are BTC students involved in this? Yeah, so our college has been operating the Whatcom Creek Hatchery for nearly 50 years. We'll have our 50th anniversary in a few short years. And how hatcheries in our area work for our program in particular, we will harvest eggs from returning adults and we act almost like the nursery ward of a hospital. We protect the baby salmon when they're their most vulnerable. And when they get to a small size where they're ready to go out to the ocean, we send them out and then they're out in the wide open ocean and ready for harvest or to provide food for important species like our endangered southern resident killer whales. And those that survive the marine gauntlet come back home. And here we're located on Whatcom Creek in Bellingham. And then they're here for harvest as well. So we have different salmon species that we work with, and we've worked with a number of different ones over the decades. Right now, we mostly focus on Chum and Chinook, and it's an exciting time of year for us because right now the Chinook are here mm -hmm. and they're open for harvest, and the state just extended the weekend fishery for the next two weekends. So come on down to Bellingham and catch yourself a Chinook. Yeah, speaking of Chinook salmon, well, they aren't native to Whatcom Creek, so you, you kind of almost have to trick the fish to return there. How do you do do that. Oh, so salmon have this wonderful ability to find their way home. So when they're juveniles and they're getting ready to go out to the ocean, they undergo this physiological change called smultification. And it's why some kids learn in schools about the smolt phase or a smolt salmon. And it's when they're ready to go out to the ocean. And when they go through smultification, the chemical imprint or the smell of the water that they've been raised in, it gets imprinted printed in their brain. And so when they come back as adults, they're essentially smelling their way home. And they go along the coast, and when they smell water that smells like home, that's when they come home. Yeah, and the salmon, well, they provide a food source for endangered southern resident killer whales. We've reported about that many times, but that's not the only goal here. So what are the other benefits of this program? Yeah, so we kind of, it's three big benefits. One is that we're providing important prey for the Southern Resident Killer Whales through this project with our co-managers, which is the Department of Fish and Wildlife and our local treaty tribes. It's also an amazing training opportunity for our students. We're one of the only colleges on the entire West Coast that offers training in things like salmon and trout aquaculture, as well as a variety of other topics in environmental science, aquatic science, and fishery science. And and in addition, all the fish that are coming home, they're here for harvest. Right. And so with this here in Bellingham, we support both tribal harvesting and sport fishing as well. Yeah. And it's been really exciting. The most recent youth tribal fishery, they had the tribal youth out and they were harvesting. And in a short amount of time, they caught over 40 fish right here on our small creek. All right. So a lot going on there. Learned a lot from you today, Brittany. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So to learn more about that program, the school will have a booth at the Bellingham Sea Fest this weekend. Feast, I should say, and Issaquah Salmon Days, and that's next weekend.